It's a beautiful evening and welcome to the Edo Gubernatorial Race 2024. This is the road to Edo 2024 television program reaching you live from independent television Benin City from our network service here in Benin. I am Daniel Praise Osedebame. Now we are going to embark on a compelling journey through the political landscape of Edo State. You're going to stay with us as we explore the candidates, their visions and the dynamic narrative shaping the upcoming gubernatorial election. We have here in the studio with us a representative of one of the front runner of the 2024 governorship election is the person of Barista Paul Ahombame. He's here representing um, Senator Monde Okbewolo, a.k.a. Akpakomiza. Akpakomiza was born to the family of... Okay, Senator Monde Okbewolo, a.k.a. Akpakomiza, was born to the family of late chief and Mrs. Peter Okbewolo of Udomi community in Owasen, Irua, Asan Central Local Government, area of Edo State. Senator Monde Okbewolo was nicknamed Akbakomiza immediately after his birth. Okay, so this is where we're going to be coming straight to the studio now, where we have the representative who is representing Senator Okbewolo, who is currently unavoidably absent. I'm very sure he's busy with um, administrative or legislative schedules now in Abuja. Welcome to the program, sir. Thank you very much. Uh, let's quickly kick off in earnest. Mm. Uh, your principal, mm. uh, he's not currently on seat to speak for himself, but you are the spokesperson for his campaign train. Yes. What is the major reason why he's diving into the race in 2024? Thank you very much. You know, every normal human being must have an internal logos for self-evaluation. Mm. Uh, he has seen a lot. Of course, we, all, we have seen politics of illusion. We have seen arrogance of power. And in Edo State, you can see social dislocation and institutional collapse. Mm. These are certain deficits, things that can drive anybody to you know, taking certain action. Because when a man is called upon, to correct an error. Mm. He's, he, they are not asking him to persevere in that error. Okay. It's just how to go out of such error, mm. of such uh, maladies, which the state is suffering from now mm. present. Okay. So this is one of the driving forces. And he, he believes, because even as a non-state actor, he has been carrying out interventionist you know, uh, measures where government had failed. Mm. Or, neglected to do certain things, whether in the area of health, mm. in the area of education, uh, agriculture, transportation, all, especially the commanding heights of the economy. Mm. He has been there. So he believes, even the Senate, before he went to Senate, he never wanted to contest. Okay. He needed someone to support. But there was nobody forthcoming. So he from, had to, from his constituents? Yes. Okay. So he had to present himself. And it's the first time APC been winning senatorial seat from that constituency, from mm. that senatorial district. Mm. We have never won. It is predominantly PDP domain. But this time, he defeated the incumbent, Clifford Odia, and he's there today. Mm. He's unable to come today because of works, uh, legislative where he's the chairman mm. of public procurement. Saddled with a lot of responsibility over uh, 950 ministries and you know agencies and practices under, under him, under him mm. which he has to do and do conscientiously so this is why he's not here and he asked me to come okay and now I, he's, I, a, he's a greenhorn in politics to our next extent yes. this is his first time uh going for a very very sensitive position talking about the senate mm. now do you think he's going to do better if given the opportunity to lead those states in uh, 2024 the truth of the matter the he is in senate and being a green home. He has mm. been giving such sensitive... He just got to the Senate recently. Yes, mm. but he has been giving such sensitive uh, position as chairman of public procurement. You get what I'm saying? After appropriation, uh, even before public accounts, it's mm. public procurement. Okay. For him to be given, that shows the confidence. That is uh, the trust that the Senate leadership has in mm. him. So he's capable, capability that you must learn from somebody's antecedent merits. Mm. What he has been doing, what he's capable of doing, you know. Although someone who has not had position in the past, you, find, you may find it difficult to assess what, he, what he's capable of doing. That's true. But one thing that is clear is that 
anti-democratic elements are known mm. because there must be warning signs. You must have warning signs. And such signs are such that will be enough to, you know, uh, set off society's alarm bells. Mm. That these ones are dangerously unfit for office. Mm. But Senator Mondi Akpakomiza, I mean, Okperolo, fondly called Akpakomiza, is prepared, destined for this position. So uh, the truth of, as I've told you, yeah. is coming. I told them at channels that not having Mondi Okperolo, Governorship in 2024 will be paradise lost. Okay, now, what are his plans to address the pressing critical needs of Edolite? Mm -hmm. He's in the Senate. Yes, we're not taking that away mm -hmm. from him. Mm -hmm. But coming to govern a state as critical and germane as Edo state it is one that needs someone that is really ready to take uh, the baton of leadership. Mm -hmm. So what are his plans for yes. Edolite. Yes. Let's quickly have some of those plans Thank for you. his people. Even before Senate, mm. he has been doing all these things. This is why I call him alternate government. Okay. For this he has been doing for the people of the central, Edo central, senatorial district. He wants to expand because the Senate as it is today, he is uh, just like a big man dressed in a little brief of garment mm. authority in that senate okay the way history described that 17th century king leopold of belgium mm. as a great king in an insignificant kingdom he wants the sector to control the three senatorial districts he has been involved in providing for the people even as a non-state actor mm. before he even dreamt of going to the senate okay he has provided you know a water supply he has given, you know, assisted in providing security where it has broken down retrievably, mm. even without security votes okay. being given to him. Mm. He has uh, intervened in the area of health sector, in all other social areas. He wrote construction. You, made the, you can leave general for specifics. Mm. I will tell you in Emado what he has done there in Ekoma. I will tell you in Ile. In the community in Ekoma, what he has done. Afuda community in uh, Irwa, what he has done. Idomi community, where he's from, what he has done. Mm -hmm. The uh, Ujaroli community in Irwa, what he has done. I will tell you in Uzea, in Uromi, what he has done. Mm -hmm. I will tell you that in uh, Ekoma, I mean, uh, Uromi, for example, the Hausa market, the main industrial boyhood there, mm -hmm. he gave to them. Okay. He did get community in Uruguay, he did it for them. He, he, uh, he in Igweben, you know, I cannot pronounce them very well. Yes. He did for them mm. a lot. He has provided vehicles, yet he, not in government. Even before he got to the Senate. Before he dreamt, mm. not even getting, before he dreamt of going there. Mm. Five Siena, you know, uh, vehicles for uh, uh, Eastern Security Network try to cover the five local governments, giving to their security network with the code name uh, Esa Atalaka. But, but, but don't you think some of these donations have an um, undertone of politics embedded in all this? No, the truth of the matter, I, as I have told you, politics, you know, uh, is the arena Just in which the fate of this earth mm. of our planet will be decided. Mm. So it's what everyone must engage. What, can I do? what, you, what everyone must, this is why Leon Trotsky said, mm. we, we may not care about politics, but politics cares about us. That's true. So everybody is a political animal. Mm. There are people who also want to go into politics. One way or the other. One way or the other. They are worthier than him. They have resources. You may not trade the provenance anyway. Mm. You see, my thing. But they have. But he is a man of means with means of livelihood. The, those ones will not provide. But they just want to go to you know, go to power mm. for the sake of aggrandizement, primitive accumulation, pathological fixation on the capture and use of raw power. Mm. But this man is somebody, is humble, is somebody you can trust with power because he does not say anything he, he cannot do. Okay. He is very unskilled in licentiousness for evil. I continue to say that. Mm. It's not like some persons who are unpredictable. I can tell you, a man can be unpredictable so much so that men are more afraid of him when he's doing nothing mm. than they are when he's making trouble. Okay. But this is somebody you can see, the way he is is the way, what he says is what he does. Okay, and, yeah, and, and I tell you, he's loved by his people. Okay. Loved by his people. And when you are humble, you know, William Wordsworth said it. 
He said, wisdom comes nearer hmm. when we stoop than when we saw her. Okay. He always stoops. And just as Oliver Goldsmith said, we stoop to conquer. Okay, now. He is not stooping to be conquered. Though. Hmm. He always stoops to conquer. Now, I, I'm so going to be the question you ask, hmm. the question you ask as to whether he was doing it, something started over 10 just, years ago. Okay. Over 10 years ago. There was no political undertone to some no, of these things. 10 years ago, he has started all these things. A decade over. So, he has started all these things. Mm. Provide scholarship for people. That is social intervention. Mm. Now. Scholarship. In uh, was specialist hospital, indigent patients there. They are taking an indigent, not only Isha now, at those centers. Mm. Ibos can be there. Indigent. Provided they are, he is told that they are unable to pay for their. Uh, uh, hospital bees. Hmm. It takes care of all those things. Okay, now when no. the hospital, when the police station, area command in Uromi was bumped down, hmm. following the uh, robbery incident that occurred there, he, he, he rebuilt that place, that area command, single-handedly. Single-handedly. So we must place credit where it belongs, because just as the Greek playwright said, that is uh, uh, Sophocles. He said, "Thou shalt not ration justice. Hmm. We must place justice where it belongs." And this person, I'm telling you, is not a moral midget. He's not a social liability. Mm. He's not an intellectual degenerate. He has all the qualities that make him go and become governor. And we rule well because he's saddened with the social dislocation in the land mm. and the institutional collapse. He's, he was born in 1970, and that puts him in 51, 52. Okay, let's. That age thing mm. is very important. Okay, he's young. Not just young to the extent that any mistake he makes can be, you know, written off mm. by reason of being young. Just as uh, somebody who is extremely young and will tell you that respect and uh, reason dwell on wrinkled age, as we saw in the rape of Lucrece by Shakespeare. Mm. This one is that age that he can take responsibility. In ordinary, uh, you know, uh, set up, maybe corporate bodies, companies, a young person can be given op opportunity. You say what he lacks in experience, he has in enthusiasm. Mm. But in governance, it is different. Now, is he riding <coughs> on the wings of the clamor for power shift next year to Edo Central? Could that be the reason why he's throwing his weight no, into the no, race? No, 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 no. Because no, some no. people have, some, some people felt, yes. okay, he's actually, he's in the Senate now. He yes. just got to the Senate. Yes. Why not focus those on are few, delivery, those delivering are, uh, dividend of democracy to your constituency uh, instead of no, flying no, into the race? Dividend of democracy between the governor mm. and a sectional person, one third of the state, who will deliver more to the people? So it's not flying on the, on the way. No, that all is shifty tent. He's a competent, a fit and proper person. Mm. He's somebody that will go there, then we will, will be uh, singing of what Plato and Aristotle contrived to be beautiful goodness. Mm. When he gets there, what, you know, the demotion of government as a supreme, from, become, from being a supreme human good mm. to necessary evil will be obliterated. You will see development when uh, Mondeo Pevolo is the governor. Power will not be, you will not be at the corridor of power. Power will be in your corridor. You know what I'm saying? He will take it down to you. Expansiate it. Thank you. He will take governance. Mm. He will demystify governance. So some people, when they are in government, whether governor, minister, you see the way and manner, the aura that goes with them. Arrogance of power. Trivialization of people's rights. Uh, that pathological fixation and capture of mm. You know, raw power by allergic or raw power elite. You see them. A governor is coming, and uh, it's like a demigod. They abandon the details of God Almighty and worship at the feet of Lucifer. Mm. You get what I'm saying? Now, you have spoken so well about um, the senator Monday Okbarolo. Yes. Don't you think when he gets to uh, Osadeb Avenue, things might change? Mm. There, there's this uh, narrative that when you get to power, there's this spirit that just take over them. Yes. Don't you think we might see a different person in him? Oh, from what I've known about him, he's a God-fearing person. You know, when I say God-fearing, mm. if you are close to him, you know that between hours of 6 a.m. and 9, he's communing with his God. He communes with God. And he's a Christian, not pretentious one anyway. And when he says his humility is not even, uh, you know, an act of pretense, he's who he is. He's who he is. Mm. 
He cannot go there. It's difficult for you to change. Yes, Lord Acton said it. Acton. You know, he said power tends to corrupt. Absolute power corrupts. Absolutely. He was referring to the papacy. Mm. That power can change even the, be the character of the best of men. That's what he meant. But with Okpeoro, uh, that is uh, Monday Okpeoro, Akpakomiza, that one will be different. There is nothing that can change him. He has not changed before now. In the Senate, you go to him, free ingress and egress in the, his office, anywhere he is. Okay, now, what are his chances? Now, looking at the incumbent governor, mm. the PDP has done well in those states to an extent. Mm. And, you know, you can't take away the power of incumbency away when it comes to gubernatorial race. Mm. What are his chances? Thank you. Let me explain with this illustration. We just finished general election, you know, mm. to tell you that APC is ahead of any other party. In so you state. think so? Wait. It's <laughs> empirical. You can see it now. But you saw what happened in the local government elections. No, that one. Do, do, we don't use it local government. It was 18 over 18. No, you don't use local government elections. What about the House of Assembly elections? That's what, but there are many are st st standing on slippery ground. So what are his chances? Wait now. <laughs> Let's start. You are, you are going to... The truth of the matter, let me tell you. Hmm. Edo State has nine House of Rep seats. APC has six. Labor has two. PDP has one, and that one is standing on slippery ground. Edoce has three senatorial seats. APC has two. Labor has one. PDP with nothing. Because this is election done by National Electoral Commission. Mm -hmm. the, are you following me? Okay. The, the uh, State House of Assembly, where they mobilize resources, did those sort of things. Of course, you saw one labor, uh, so mani criminal manipulations, and all that is they did. Those actions that are antithetical to the spirit of democracy, eh? that they carried out, democratic distortions and disarticulation that they carried out and gave them those, those numbers. They have started losing them. Of your southwest, the court has given to APC. I'm telling you, a God, the court will give it to labor. These are the issues. So if we are dead with them in that general election, is that is just at once in one. We are, we are just starting. By the time we are done with PDP and Labour Party, come 2024, history will not be sure they ever existed. And would that not put uh, your, your principal in mm. the front line? Uh, APC is not an not independent candidate. He's mm. coming. He's contesting at the platform of all progressive Congress. Mm. I'll tell you what APC did to this party, the Miss Smith did to this party. Because it was a national election. Mm. That one we are making allusions to local government election. That no governor, nobody, the party in the state must write it. So Abaseki did no offense reputation. That is the way it is, whether in Benue, whether in Edo, whether in Rivers, mm. anywhere, there is no angel in that aspect. They write it for their party. So it's not what you applaud for. That is not. Uh, it's not merit. So if, if given if given the mandate <laughs> to take those state to the next level next yeah, year, yes. which aspect will your principal start from? You know, aspects yearning for you shall be driven to desperate solution in a those state. Yes, there are you know handful of intervention of training here and there. We are, he has started training people. He has begin you know setting them up on entrepreneurship uh, you know dealings. He has done a lot for people. He will just continue because he is used to it. It will not be difficult to continue. But in the area of food scarcity, agriculture, many governments, they just uh, 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 bring out uh, uh, fertilizers, impulse and the rest. Mm. There is land. There, but you know, Akpakomiza believes that land with fertilizer, without the farmer, is still born agriculture. Because everything must start with the farmer. You must encourage that farmer because he is the one who sounds fertilize the womb of the earth. Mm. He is the one that will do the thing, till it, call laborers to work. And so agriculture must be there. Mm. Then I talked of the command, commanding heights of the economy, yeah. employment. I told you, you have been driven to desperate solution. There is social dislocation mm. and institutional collapse. Now you talked about farmers. He is not... Them. He is telling you it will replace rot with good infrastructure. 
when I say rot, it's not that, you know some people tell some people will tell you I want to become the governor. When you ask them what will you do differently, they say let me get there first. Mm. With that you now just quickly uh, it will remind you that character called Bazarov in the big book uh, titled Father and Son, written by that uh, great Russian author Ivan Turgenev. You see, Bazarov said all he wants to do is to destroy all the institutions and bring down the system. Mm. And when he was asked, with what will you replace the system, he simply said, let it come down first. That is the character of those ones. This one tells you, I have something to do differently. Try me. Give me the scepter. It's not old. If it's an old person, I would say, relax. Now, won't um, those that have been in the game before yes. hijack the system from him? Owing to the fact that he's new, we are still on that. Mm. He's still a greenhorn mm. in the system as a politics, as a politician. Don't you think by the time he gets to us, there be avenue? People that have been there before, mm. they won't hijack the process from him. That is a mistake many people make. Even those who are loyal to you, when they are confident of their own ideology, when there is no, when you know, when you are ideologically, ideologically moderate, the tendency will be there for you to waver. When you are I don't stable. When in ideology, you are stable. You know what you are doing. It's always difficult. Somebody who is strong in character, you before you approach him. Let's use even a basic example. Mm. Yes, many people say he has failed. I said no. There are areas he has also done well. It's like looking at the former British Prime Minister Winston Churchill, the man who loved and hated democracy. He was the one who saved the world. He joined to save the world from Hitler. But he didn't want colonization to end. Mm. So when Roosevelt prompted him that there is the need for colonization, he said, I did not become the Queen's first minister to preside over the dissolution of British Empire. Okay. The meaning of that is that he failed in that angle. So no man's virtue is complete. So what we are saying, just like uh, uh, Winston Churchill, Obaseki, all of that, let their statue remain. But with a note of what they did wrong. Mm. But I'm telling you that government, that will be for governance, not for looting, is with Monday of Pueblo. Okay, now. Come 2024. Mm. Mark it. Time is not always our friend on the show. Now, quickly, yeah. you're going to walk us through <coughs> insecurity, something that is staring, glaring at us yes. in those states. Yes. Uh, we don't have good roads to our next extent. Yes. Most of the uh, senatorial districts yes. will lack good roads. Healthcare system, mm. uh, some of these things. Mm. How will he put all this together? I told you, even before he dreamt of contesting, he has started doing all these things. Mm. He, he, he constructed an uh, construction and even asphalting of the, of the third section of Ujabole, you know, uh, 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 Ujabole Road, Udomi Road, in Esan Central, in Uwesan, mm. Esan Central Local Government. He has done all that road constructions in Ohe Uzia Road. He did that in uh, Unwazi uh, Road. All initial, you know, I cannot pronounce. Mm. In Igwebe Ikihe Road, he did all those constructions. Even selflessly. With, selflessly. The, I'm happy you have used selflessly. That government support. Without government support, it's an alternate government. Mm. He is an alternate government. You get what I'm saying? I'm trying to. No, you, know, you have to get it, not trying to. I'm with you. Thank you. I'm you have you. to be with me. Mm. Because redemption, when you see, you see, they say, every little step we take today draws closer to freedom. So the, the, the issue are started of taking the step. health, insecurity. Security, for example, mm. this man has bought vehicles for security. Outfit. Apart from building, rebuilding what was bought, it's still security. Is that also? He bought vehicle for, uh, you know, Senna vehicle to help Poma for the anti court mm. Security so about five or so. Yes, mm. five. No, so many. In social intervention, he has given over 30 Corona vehicles uh, and uh, Siena to over 30 ADGs, ASAN ADGs mm. as empowerment. He has done a lot. Even when he did not dream, the, the, the look at the operative word. Eh? Eh? Not intended for government. Mm. Not intended for government. Okay. Not intended for government. You, you have stressed that. Yes. Now, what are his plans quickly? Because we need to go in the next two minutes. Mm. What are his plans for women and youth? Thank you. Because to an extent, women are marginalized as far as politics in this state is concerned. We have <coughs> never seen uh, a deputy governor come from the other gender. Mm. What are his plans for women? 
in politics. Yes, he has, he has told uh, uh, you know, the uh, women in the Do uh, Central. In fact, many of them are with him. Mm -hmm. Many of them. He is loved. Forget this imaginary uh, demarcation people are making here and there. Not because he's from Edo Central, he's competent. He's, he has capability. Yeah, he has a lot in store for women. Because he has said, why he doesn't, it, he, you know, he's killing to think hmm. of women, you know, suffering in the land where you can give soft loans for businesses. For the, and for people to still be taking on hygienic water because mm. the only sister, kid sister, died from water, you know, complication from water from, with the fetch from the stream. In fact, this is why he has done a lot of borrow. He does have borrow also, not just a borrow you put in your houses, mm. for communities okay. to use. Okay. He has done a lot mm. for women. For youths, he knows they have been driven to desperate solution and is determined to take them out of the street. You know, his ICT, uh, Expert. Mm. He has his uh, Chapman uh, uh, Computer Limited, Interweb, uh, SACOM uh, okay. Limited, all dealing mm. with hardware. Okay. So, so my message to Edo people is to sit in their quiet moment, mm. look at what Edo, Edo State is passing through. All right. Now, if you're just and they, they must know that redemption is on the way. Okay. If you're just and it's, it's, we, it's, we need to go. It revolves around one man. Okay. And that man is Senator. Monday, Monday. Okbawolo, talking about the man, Senator Monday Okbawolo, he was nicknamed Akbakomiza immediately after his birth. From the very minute uh, he touched the yes. Mother Earth, yes. his facial countenance and unpopular manner, mm. uh, despite being bettered into a new environment, hence the powerful and strong wording nickname Akbakomiza. Now, as a child, Akbakomiza, as he is popularly known, attended Udumi Community Primary School and Okbawolo Community Secondary School, respectively, both in Uwesa, Irua, Esa, Central area. Well, he has been represented by his chief spokesperson, Barista Paul Ahambome. Thank you so much for taking time to join us on the program, Road to Education 24. God bless you. Right, we would like to see you on another one. Yes. and probably have the senator himself uh, come to come, talk to the come, people. Yes. Okay, this is how far we can go on the show. We'll see you on the next one. My name is Daniel Price. Good evening, Adosti.